today we were finally getting an alignment on the Miata. Uh, they had asked for me to take off my bumper and my lip, so we're gonna do that before we head over there. This place is pretty good about low cars. They did Emilio CTS and then they did Nacho's Blue Miata which has like crazy camber and it's almost basically like a mini version of this thing that's also a little bit cleaner. Um, if you guys want to check them out, I'll put both their Instagrams in the description. Anyways, I'm gonna pull this bumper off, this lip off, and then we'll head over there and try and get it on the lift. Hopefully they have enough boards.
So we're hoping that the, the thing is able to recognize how much camber I have. I know that past a certain amount, the things can't register how much camber it has, but I don't think I have enough for it to be that way. So we'll actually get the official camber numbers right now too for all those asking. No way. Right there, look at the bottom. Oh yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Look at it. Right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. I'm excited to drive it. I wasn't that far off, I mean. It's pretty quick. Look, it's in the red, they're like, it's supposed to be in between negative two and negative 1.2, negative 17. So that's actually pretty good. So that means that that one hasn't really changed a whole lot since I measured it myself. And that means that I was pretty freaking close in my measurement which I did with a ruler and some simple math. So we're gonna go take this thing out for a little joy ride, probably pick up something to eat and test out the alignment once again. I did take it around the block and it's pretty damn perfect. I'm super hungry, let's go get something to eat, yeah? All right. This road kind of sucks and we scraped for the first time in the front, but obviously we're still driving so we should be okay. go in get some grub come back out drive this thing home and then that's probably it for today Oh my. <laughs> 
Yeah, seriously. It's a grasshopper. <laughs> well, we just got back from eating food and it drove pretty damn good. Uh, the next big thing for this is not only interior, which who knows how long that's going to take, but is suspension. I really need to get new suspension and I'm trying to work some things out and we're going to see if we can get some uh, nicer coils for this thing that have proper dampening. Anyways, I'm going to leave the link in the description for those of you who are interested in like getting alignment or whatever on your kind of a little bit more unorthodox builds that are a little bit lower that a normal alignment shop wouldn't take care of. Uh, they obviously helped me out and helped me get one of the craziest builds out there done. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out.